I'm Trish with today's QOTD question of the day. Record your answer and join us on the show. Today, we're talking about running red lights, speeding through stop signs, and tearing through the turnstiles. If you've ever talked your way out of getting a ticket, what's your secret? Do you smile pretty? Do you ugly cry? Does flattery really get you impunity? Pull over for our first fan answer. This is Beatrice. To get out of it, I did what my police officer who came into my driver's ed class said at sophomore year, where he said that if a woman cries in front of me, I'm not going to give her a ticket. And that's exactly what I did. To this day, I have not gotten a ticket. So I actually love this answer for two reasons. One is that she was able to very quickly harken back to what she had learned in driver ed class, but also because she can cry on command. Also, there's a lot of actors in Hollywood who can't even cry on command. So Beatrice, you know, maybe you should also look into a career in stage acting. I love that she can cite the police officer from <laughs> Driver's Ed that basically gave her the tip to avoid a ticket too. I think that's fantastic. To the police officer who told Beatrice this little secret, maybe be a little bit more careful about who you share the secrets of the trade with because people will take advantage of it if they can. So JJ, did you have a favorite? I did. So I found a really <laughs> kind of funny answer from Zach. So I get pulled over and I had just gotten in and out and I just talked about in and out the entire time. I talked about my burger, talked about my fries and they loved it. They ate that up. Not literally because that was my burger, but yeah, no. I got away because they enjoyed me talking about burgers. But he, I, I love how it sounds like he wasn't even trying to deliberately distract the officers. He was just sort of like, okay, I'll just talk about what I have around me. And it worked swimmingly. <laughs> oh my gosh, they flipped over in and out. Imagine if he had Dunkin' Donuts in the car. Huh? I was going to say, do you think I could try this with Shake Shack? Like, is that the New Jersey equivalent? Would that work? In and out's hard to beat, I got to say. It's not just any burger sack, it is the burger. Mwah. Exactly. Yeah. Something tells me that this hack would not have worked with like a Burger King or a McDonald's. Like you got to have those top tier fast food burgers. <laughs> well, this is normally the part in the show where we would have Keith talk about his answer, but unfortunately he couldn't make it here today. So he has told us that he is totally okay with us revealing his answer and discussing it in his absence. So here is Keith's answer, which comes from Stephanie. So if I were ever to get pulled over and get a ticket, um, me and my family have actually planned this. So if we were all in the same car, um, we would just blame it on the female that was in the car or me that and say we were pregnant and, you know, hopefully don't let us off the hook. <laughs> I think any cop worth his salt would be like, you know what? This is all about your safety. Sit tight. I'm calling an ambulance. And then what would you do? You guys are actors. All of our fans are like, I can cry on command. I'm going to do this whole elaborate scheme where I'm giving birth. And I also appreciate how it's not just Stephanie's life hack. It's Stephanie and like her whole family. It's like a family <laughs> business. Yeah, because it doesn't quite work if you're driving alone and you're really chill you're like sorry i'm just giving birth right now so it's been a, like a really hard day yeah sorry the contractions are like really tight together so can, I, I gotta you know Go on. scoot on over there <laughs> or Reed, did you have an answer that you really enjoyed from the fans my favorite answer is the ds's i was like going super fast i was late to work i was wearing like a ref uniform and i was just like i was in high school and i was just like ah uh, yeah like, I have to go. Um, sorry, like, whatever. And you just let me go. Just act like you're in a hurry to go somewhere. So, like, this answer, I think it might be the only one we have where someone was just honestly like, Yeah, I know what I did was wrong, but here's why. Sorry. And it seems to have worked as well. So, lesson learned you don't always have to act, but most of the time you do. Is that our takeaway? <laughs> I do think honesty is the best policy. Look, they've heard every excuse in the book, right? So I think it might be refreshing once in a while for somebody just to say, yeah, you know, I and that actually happened to me once. Um, and I was just honest about the situation. I didn't get a ticket. We'll get into that later. But. And also, if there is someone who's going to understand the plight of a worker, somebody who has to like be on the clock, it's someone who is currently on the clock doing their job. So I guess in this situation, especially, you know, be honest, I'm going to work, I'm running late, I gotta go. Well, I think we have some really great hacks here. I'm more motivated than ever to start taking some acting classes, but fans, if you have an answer that you wanna submit, 
please do so using the link in the description. We want to know your hack. And be sure to do so before our Thursday Big Show Weekly Championship. But now I think it's time for us to get into our answers. So, Trish, what is your story that you were alluding to earlier? Well, I have uh, a sister who's a judge and I have a brother-in-law who is a sheriff. So the best tips, and they've always worked for me, when you get pulled over, immediately pull over, put your flashers on, hands on the wheel, window down, and smile. It, the minute that you act sketchy or if you start shifting around the car or something, they immediately kind of get their haunches up. When I got pulled over, I was running late for work also. And immediately he said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, yeah, because I was coming in hot off, you know, center street there. And he was kind of surprised. <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. You know, what are you going to say? You know, what are you going to do? There's no argument. There's no nothing. I told him I was late for work, told him I wouldn't do it again. And I got Yeah, that seems to be the best policy. It's kind of hard because I think getting pulled over is jarring. So you'd naturally probably would act in a way that's deemed shifty, but it's just like, oh, you're anxious. I've never been pulled over. Knock on wood, it doesn't happen. I'm not great on the spot, so I definitely would not be able to lie, but I might end up crying naturally just because I'd be in an anxious new situation. So maybe that will work in my favor. Yeah, no, I also haven't been pulled over yet. But one thing I have had is I've had some parking tickets. I've sort of had two methods that have worked for me. Sort of as Trish was alluding to, the first one is definitely honesty. Like when I was in college, I got a ticket and I literally was like, listen, I was like parking here for class. I I know I shouldn't have parked here. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And they reduced my ticket price, which was very nice. If you have the option to like take it to virtual court, that is sometimes a good idea. Cause I started taking it. I was like following it, fight, not fighting it, but I was like, you know, making all these appearances and eventually they were like, look, it's not worth it. If you want to just like pay the court costs, we'll take the ticket off. And I ended up paying less money. So yeah, my two hacks are be honest and fight to the bitter end. <laughs> I love it. Record your answer using the links below and be sure to subscribe, follow, or register to get new questions and announcements right into your daily feed. Yes. Thank you everyone who's watched, voted, and recorded so far this week. Remember the top voted answers make it on the air for our Thursday Big Show. If you love QOTD, send us a little love by commenting, liking, subscribing, or clicking thanks on YouTube. We'll give you a shout out on the air. Thanks for watching and let us know if you ever talked your way out of a ticket. How did you do it? I sang my way out. <laughs> oh. <laughs>